Hello and welcome to Steamworld Archive Volume 36, Northwest England, Part 2. In this programme, we follow on from Steamworld Archive Volume 35, with more 8mm cinefilms from the superb Derek Phillips collection, covering the more northern lines in Northwest England. This train, however, is instead reversing up the Sandside branch from Arnside. The engine will run round at Sandside Quarry. Lindell Tunnel is exactly a quarter of a mile long. Now comes Carnforth Stalwart, double four seven oh nine. The last vehicle in the train is an LMS design brake second. Very few of these made it into blue and grey livery. The southern rock face end of Lindell Tunnel, as 70045 heads for Barrow. We're back at Carnforth now, as Jubilee 45593 Kolapur rolls in from the Settle Junction direction. The hoppers are used in the house coal concentration scheme. Alongside, sheeted wagons of lime from a local quarry await collection. Seven two double oh seven. Once Clan Mackintosh leaves Settle on a southbound stopper. Seven double oh three five. Formerly Rudyard Kipling, and for many years an East Anglian locomotive, backs down onto a train for the Settle line. Threlkeld. Keswick, a town made prosperous by the Cockermouth, Keswick and Penrith Railway. At Burnyside, the sidings on the left led to a tramway a mile and a half long, serving Cropper's paper mills. Until the 1920s, this tramway had been a separate narrow gauge line. It's July 1960, as 76024 breasts Stainmore Summit, 1,370 feet above sea level, with a train of LNER stock. A summer Saturday return working from the Lancashire coast to the northeast. A northbound parcels with one of the two rebuilt Jubilees, 45736 Phoenix. This engine was withdrawn in September 1964. 